everyone, it's Sandra. I am so sorry there's no video last week. I went on vacation with the really optimistic thought that I would actually film this video when I was there. I did vlog a little bit, so I will be showing you that shortly. I have to edit all the footage. I have a ton of video clips, but I went to Kauai in Hawaii and it was the most beautiful place I've ever I've ever been to. It's just like walking through the most beautiful garden in the world. Everywhere you look, there's orchids growing on trees. There's new waterfalls coming from the mountain and it was just so pretty. The water was so clear. The vibe was so laid back. Everyone was so incredibly friendly and it's such a beautiful island and I'm so lucky to have had the privilege of going there on vacation. I would definitely recommend it as a travel destination. I've never been to Hawaii. That was my first first Hawaiian experience and I heard that every single island in Hawaii is a different experience. They all have um, they all have their own character. Anyway, I'm going to save my travel ramble for when I do my travel vlog. But for now, I thought I would show you the skincare and makeup that I brought along with me on vacation. I absolutely love travel bag videos. It gives me inspiration when I'm packing for a trip and sometimes it makes me feel either bad or better about being um, such a product junkie. It's actually hilarious when you are in like a hotel bathroom with a double vanity and you look at the boy section and there are like three things just sitting there and then my section that just has like shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to start with skincare. I actually stored most of my skincare in either like Ziploc bags or um, this little bag from Glossier just because I wanted to make sure that nothing leaks out or anything like that. For cleanser, I packed the Pixie and Carolina Hirons Double Cleanse. Actually, the main reason I bought this cleanser was for this trip. I absolutely love the fact that it has a makeup removing cleansing balm on one side and a very gentle cream cleanser on the other side. And just in case I would use a little bit more smoky, intense eye makeup, I brought this little Lancome eye makeup remover. I love this stuff and I always, whenever I see it available as one of the point perks at Sephora, I add one of these to my cart. For serum and moisturizer, I brought my trusty duo here. This is the Kat Berkey Rosehip Revitalizing Serum and then the Kat Berkey Intensive Vitamin C Cream. Both of these products have vitamin C in them and it's not the most potent form of vitamin C. It's like a slightly more gentle derivative, but it's still effective and they're both lightweight and they worked really well together. So this is what I would use in the morning. I would cleanse my face, I would apply the serum, I would apply the moisturizer afterwards, and then I would apply my sunscreen. And for sunscreen, I brought along the Clarins UV50. SPF, this is a wonderful facial SPF. It's so light and so easy to spread. It doesn't have a matte finish. It kind of does leave a little bit of like a silicone slip feeling to the skin. I didn't find that it made me look extra greasy throughout the day or anything like that. I feel like once it kind of set into the skin, I didn't have an issue looking too shiny or anything. And I really like the scent of it too, just kind of like a sweet, slightly fresh scent, very subtle. I did, I brought body sunscreen as well, but we actually ended up using it up. So obviously I didn't bring it back to show you, but this was really good. For nighttime, the only thing that I brought with me to apply at night is my different cream. I use the different 0.1% cream. I got this um, from my dermatologist. I have a prescription for this, but if you're in the United States, you can get the different gel at, um, at the drugstore now. It's over the counter. I don't think it's over the counter in Canada yet. So if you're interested in this product, maybe ask your family doctor or get a referral to a dermatologist and ask about it. But I love it. I am doing an updated skincare routine video. So I'm going to be talking about this product more in detail because I'm getting so many questions and I try to answer everyone individually in the comments or on Instagram, but I am going to be doing an updated skincare routine video. I just wanted to do this video first because this is kind of like more time sensitive, I guess. So this is actually all I was using at night. And if I felt like I needed an extra layer of protection on my skin, I actually brought these two things with me. I brought the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast. This kind of forms a bar protective barrier on your skin. So whatever skincare you're layering, you can put this on top and it just kind of seals everything in. And it's supposed to promote 
promote faster skin healing. This is a wonderful product if you get like chemical peels or anything like that, or if you have any sort of reaction. When I first started using Differin and my skin got super, super irritated, I swore by this product. I would always just layer it on top and I would just sit with it on and it just felt so nice and soothing. So I brought this just in case, even though I only use it once, maybe twice. The other thing I brought is this Clarins Booster. This is the Repair Booster. I actually have all three of the Clarins boosters and this is the only one that I actually see a difference with. The other two, I don't feel like they do anything, but the Repair Booster is, um, it's got a little bit of an emollient quality to it. It's almost like adding a drop of a lightweight oil to your moisturizer. So if I felt like my skin needed some extra love, I would actually mix three of the Clarence Booster Repair Drops into my moisturizer and I would just apply it and it just felt so nice and soothing. And for zit emergencies, I brought the Kate Somerville Anti-Back Acne Clearing Lotion. I actually had a couple of pimple friends pop up. I always break out when I travel. I feel like my skin just in order to get used to the water, the new environment, the whatever, it always breaks out. I always get like one or two blemishes when I travel. So I packed this guy just in case. It worked like a charm. I'm sorry, this is already getting so rambly. I'm going to try to keep it brief for the next part. But uh, the next pouch is the hair care slash body care for deodorant. I brought my Kiehl's antiperspirant. I love this stuff because it has no fragrance, so it does not interfere with whatever perfume or lotion you want to put on. For fragrance, I brought I brought along my Lalabo Gaiac 10. This is my favorite perfume ever. More of a summer scent, so that's why I thought it'd be perfect to bring on a tropical vacation. I also packed my New Lash Eyelash Growth Serum because I can't live without this stuff now that I have the good long eyelash life. I I can't be without it. So I brought it to keep my lashes growing when I was on vacation. For hair, I brought my own shampoo and conditioner because I don't trust hotel conditioners and shampoos. I brought the Momo shampoo and conditioner from Daviness. And this is wonderful if you have dehydrated fried hair. It smells so good and it's really, really, really hydrating without weighing your hair down. The only styling product I brought were the Briogeo Blow Dry Protecting Spray. This is so awesome if you have hair that's prone to frizziness, if you're going to a tropical location. This stuff is really good because it gets rid of frizz and makes your hair super, super smooth and it's a heat protectant. So this was really great. I washed my hair a lot more because obviously when you're in the pool, you're going to the ocean, um, we went to the jungle, we Got rained on a bunch of times. I washed my hair like every single day that I was there. Usually when I'm at home I don't wash my hair every day but I washed my hair every day so I actually needed a lot more hydrating products and this blow dry perfecting cream was super super nice. For a little bit of texture I brought this little sample of the Dry Bar Mai Tai texturizing. This is like the sea salt spray and I really like this. I am actually going to be buying the full size of it. Just gave a really nice voluminous tousled effect without making my hair feel crunchy and without weighing my hair down which is awesome. I have really fine hair and I have really thin hair. For makeup this is my go-to travel makeup bag and it's from Hold Me Company. I love this bag. It fits so much stuff and I love the fact that it has a little flap here where you can put all your brushes, pencils, stuff like that. So this is where I put all my makeup brushes that I brought with me along with my eyebrow pencil, an eyeliner, and a lip liner. I did not use lip liner once and I think I used eyeliner twice the whole trip. So I could have done without them, but I brought them just in case. Another thing that I brought along and actually only ended up using a couple of times and is this uh, little sample that I have of the Clarence Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. This is supposed to be like a pore refining primer, but I just I didn't, wasn't really bothered with it. I tried to use it a couple of times, but I would always forget. Uh, for base, I brought the Dior Forever Foundation. This held up really well, and I use this in the shade number 21. It's the shade that matches me when I have a little bit of a tan. So it was a perfect match. I get, did get a little bit darker than this foundation, so for that I brought the By Terry Hyaluronic Summer. I would mix this with my foundation to make it darker, or I would just apply it on my face as like a mattifying, bronzing primer. I don't love this, but I'm trying to use it up, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to bring it to vacation. For concealer, I brought the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for under the eyes and the NARS Matte Concealer for any blemishes or acne scars. For powder, I brought the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder for like setting all over the face. And then I have the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder for underneath the eyes. For bronzer, I brought the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer in the shade Tan. And this is so gorgeous.
gorgeous. I would never be able to use this color when I'm just my regular light medium shade, but you ha if you have like a medium skin tone slash medium tan, and you want a really, really natural, tropical looking bronzer, this is your jam. This looks so good. It just looks like an intense, natural tan. It doesn't have any shimmer particles in it, but it just leaves a very soft satin sheen to the skin. So it has a skin-like finish. It's not like super powdery matte. So this was perfect for vacation and it was, it was really long lasting as well. The only blush that I brought with me is the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic Blush in the shade First Love. And I bought this, I think I bought this a year ago. I think I bought it last year and I bought it in the fall and winter and I was kind of disappointed by it. I didn't love it as much as I thought I would, but that's because I was really pale when I bought it. I always just thought of this as like a pale blush. So for some reason I decided to pack it and bring it and test it out on vacation and it looks so much better with a tan. It actually, the peachy tones of it really come out and it made my skin look so bright and glowy. It just gave the most beautiful peach flush to the cheeks. I really, really liked it. So I like this a lot more now for summer. I don't think I'll, I'll go back to using it in the winter. But it's weird because you wouldn't think of this as like a nice peachy flush. It just kind of looks like a bland nude type of shade, but it really just brightens the cheeks in a beautiful way and it works really well with a tan. For eyeshadow, the only eyeshadow palette I brought is the Lila B, B Stunning Eyeshadow Quad. This is beautiful. It has all the shades that I need, all the shades that I love. And actually, for the most part, every single day I would just use these two shades. I would just mix them together and apply them all over the lid and a little bit in the crease and that would be it. This eyeshadow is so beautiful. It actually didn't need a primer. I didn't pack a primer with, with me at all. This lasted throughout the day. I have oily eyelids, so super impressed by this. I actually have a makeup tutorial using this eyeshadow quad. If you're interested, I'm going to link to it up on the screen. And of course for lip products, I'm a lip junkie, so I had to bring three things, like three degrees of peachy coral. So I have a nude peach, which is Tom Ford first time. Then for like an everyday color, I brought Burberry Pink Peony. This is so pretty. Love the formula too. This is the perfect everyday shade. It was so hydrating. And then if I wanted a kick of color, I wanted a bit of more punch, I brought along the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Lodi. This is like my go-to coral lip shade when I'm on vacation, I always bring it with me. I have my eyelash curlers, and then for lashes and brows, I just have these little guys. I just brought the Glossier Boy Brow with me. I ended up using this by itself. I packed my Anastasia eye brow, the brow is, but I didn't bother with it. In most days, I was just so lazy, I would just use the glossy boy brow. And for lashes, I brought my little samples of the Lancome Seal Booster. This is the eyelash primer and the Clarins Wonder Perfect Mascara. These two together gave me like wow lashes. And even though they're not waterproof products by any means, it just stayed on all day without any smudging, without any bleeding. Awesome, awesome combination. I would get the full size of both both of these and I'm actually going to be buying a full size of this Lancome lash primer for the VIB sale. That's it. Those are all the makeup and skincare, body, hair care products that I brought on this trip. I've just come to embrace the fact that I'm just a product lover. These things bring me so much joy. I love the process of getting ready in the morning, no matter where I am, no matter if I'm traveling or not. And I like to look good. Makeup makes me feel good. I like to look good on vacation as well, especially since I'm very acne prone and sometimes I have um, a couple of surprises that I need to take care of even when I'm traveling. So I hope you're all doing well. Let me know what some of your favorite products have been. Let me know what your travel go-tos are and stay tuned for my vacation vlog and my updated skincare routine coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.